as I say, the the body is uh, the devil, the, the soul inside is God, and we have to recognize that we have a choice between accepting ideas from the body, the five senses, the eyes, the ears, the nose, the mouth, and the touch, or to uh, accept ideas that come from God into our electromagnetic energy bank, our soul, if you like. So all of the knowledge in my book, for example, although I say my book, it's not my book because I didn't write it. It comes through me into the world. It's God's work. I don't believe any human being could set down which, what is set down in the book, and you may agree with that. Uh, it, it's not the sort of thing that you can deduce. What few people realize is that God is in every single one of us. We are all God. We are all the same energy. And when we die, some of us will go back to God this time. Some of us will reincarnate. Uh, but eventually we'll all go to God after billions and billions of years. Uh, the ancients believed that there were three uh, transitory states, if you like. One was the God world, where God lives. One was the uh, soul world, which is divided up into purgatory and hell. And it's a bit like a, a factory where purgatory is like the reception to hell, and hell itself is the factory itself. And if we are uh, planet Earth, we can uh, live on planet Earth in this incarnation, and this is like the reception, this is purgatory where our sins are purged. Now, I know this because all of the decoded pictures that the Mayas left behind, and the Egyptians, and the Incas, and the Celtic people, and the ancient Chinese, all of these people that worshipped the sun thousands of years ago, they left all of this knowledge behind. All I had to do was decode it. Once I decoded it, I could see what the messages were trying to convey. All we have to do is uh, get the energy, purify our soul, and go to heaven. It, it's, there's nothing difficult about it once we understand that. The voltage that you refer to, or is that, or now one more time, is this literal or metaphorical voltage? Oh, it's actually a literal voltage. The, the voltage itself is, is electromagnetic energy. Okay, gotcha. And, and we know that because in the Bible it says, uh, God said, let there be light, and there was light. Light is electromagnetic energy. That's how we describe it. And as I say in the Bhagavad Gita, it says, uh, God is light. It's quite specific. And in the Dharmapada of the Buddhist, it says Buddha was the enlightened one. And the same with Krishna. 5,000 years ago, if the Egyptians encoded information into their pyramids, it wasn't encoded for me today. It was encoded for themselves if they came back, because they know they would come back if they didn't make it to heaven, that they could start where they left off from uh, with the knowledge uh, wrapped up in the pyramids and not start at the beginning again. And what we find is with the ancient civilizations is that there are lots of rules to the reincarnation process. And one of them seems to be that we come back to the same DNA. So clearly, if you've got no DNA, there's less chance of you coming back. But this is why priests and clerics don't have children, because that's why they're celibate, and why nuns are celibate. If they don't have kids, there's less chance they'll come back. If they've been bad, they'll come back as a cat or a dog or a worm, of course. But if they've been good, then they won't come back at all. They're guaranteed to get to heaven. So uh, these mechanisms of the soul world are many and various. Uh, for example, and, and they're all... There's clues to them all in the world around us. There are, there are lots of mechanisms uh, in regarding the, the light of the, the, the soul and uh, the inverse transmigration of the soul. And Tutankhamun mentions this in, in his treasures. Um, basically, he says that black people come as white people, and white people come back as black people. Fat people come back as thin people. Thin people come back as fat people. Tall people become short. Short people become tall. And so, eventually, we find all of the different states of being we experience, and, and we suffer uh, in different states of being as we come back. So, if we're unkind in one incarnation, in the next incarnation, we get it all back again. This is the notion of karma. Uh, the Christians call it original sin, Adam and Eve, if you like. But it's, it's, it's not, it's actually karmic. It's the negativity that we've generated from a previous incarnation. And this, uh, the Tibetans referred to the godly energy as chi. These people were super intelligent beings. 
and they came to teach us about God and what heaven is. Uh, there's much more to life than we see around us in this physical world. This physical world is purgatory. It can get worse. We can go to the sun when we die, and that's hellfire. You know, if, if we don't purge our hearts in, in purgatory while we're on earth, then we'll, we can either go to the sun, where it's very warm, as you can appreciate, or we can stay in purgatory for 3,740 years until the sun's magnetic field changes and releases us, and then we, we can live again in another lifetime, in a different incarnation. And it's important to realize that every religion subscribes to reincarnation. You know, some Christians jump up and down and say, oh, no, we don't. We stopped believing in reincarnation in A.D. 200 and things like that. But it's not true. If you look at the, the precepts of Christianity, they advocate that there's a body and a soul. If we live a good life, the soul goes to heaven. If we don't, the soul goes to hell. What I've shown using Einstein's equation is that this, this life is hell. The earth is hell, which means that if the soul comes back to earth, if it reincarnates to hell, it comes back to earth. So even Christians, whether they like to believe it or not, believe in reincarnation, that the soul comes back to earth. But firstly, they've got to get their heads around the fact that Einstein's equation is correct. And if it were not correct, the atom bomb wouldn't explode. The atom bomb does explode. Einstein's equation does appear to be correct. A lot of his other work is not. But... Uh, this explains why there is such injustice in the earth, because some people have led bad lives in, pre in their previous incarnations. And we have to suffer for it. We have to, uh, suffering purifies the heart, uh, because when we suffer, the brain and the heart go into battle. It's like a battlefield within it. The intellect and the heart fight it out. But the intellect says, I'm suffering, why am I suffering? And it squeezes the heart and the heart is squeezed of impurity as a wet rag is squeezed of water. When the heart becomes emptied of impurity, it can then empty impurity from the soul. So uh, an impure soul empties into an empty heart, but if the heart is full of impurity, the soul cannot enter, empty into it. So we have this physical mechanism and a spiritual mechanism which accommodates soul, uh, increasing soul voltage which enables us to escape from this incarnation and go back to God the Creator. 